Ghana Scholarship Secretariat has awarded 880 student scholarships for the 2019-2020 academic year, of which 601 of them are studying French. The registrar, Kingsley Ajiman, made this known at the launch of the President's Special Initiative in Advanced Students of French in all language tertiary institutions. The initiative, which is in partnership with the French Embassy, is to promote the study of French at the master's and doctoral level. The number of language students have increased with the upload of six new colleges of education institutions to be part of the program as a result of the upgrade to tertiary status and their sponsorship package fully catered for and paid promptly. And this is affirmed by the fact that agitations from students on bilateral scholarships have been forestalled. The French Embassy will publicize the scholarships and indicate the number of qualified Ghanaian applicants in accordance with the budgetary capacity of both implementing agencies. The selection process will also be administrated by a committee comprising representatives of French Embassy and the Scholarship Secretariat. The beneficiaries will be made to sign an agreement and the academic performance monitored. Deputy Minister of Education Dr. Yao Edutrum said there will be a strict bonding mechanism to compel beneficiaries to return home to apply the skills and knowledge acquired for national development. As I speak with you, we have 26 schools that are now have been changed into what we call dual language uh, programs, which is English and French, is being taught. The first batch of beneficiaries will be published in the national dailies. Now the Speaker of Parliament, Professor Michael Quay, is advocating for an extension of the maternity leave from three to six months as a means of protecting the child. He was speaking at the World Children's Day Summit here in Accra. 2019 marks 30 years since the adoption of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. To commemorate the day, a summit under the auspices of the sector ministry was held in Accra to throw more light on the rights of children. The Speaker of Parliament, Professor Aaron Michael Quay, indicated his readiness to fight for the rights of women as a way to ensure children are always protected. I've advocated and I continue to do so that our maternity leave period should be six months so that a woman, a mother, will have adequate time. Some will say, if so, some people will employ women. Fine. Every employer must have a quota of women in order to satisfy the law. He expressed displeasure over the practice of out-of-court settlement in defilement cases, stressing it is an abuse of the law. Those people who make it their business to do grantua that is going to plead and beg when the poor six-year-old girl has been defiled. And sometimes the victims and their families run to priests, chiefs, politicians to go and do grantua for them. But defilement is actually a felony and it cannot be settled out of court. It's a very, very serious abuse of legal process and children. Wife of the Vice President, Samira Baumia, encouraged children as agents of positive change to focus on their education. A children's parliament was also inaugurated. <laughs> 